Hello and welcome to Bendy Minds. My name is Elena and today I want to share with you five stretches out of yoga practice that you can do anywhere, anytime and basically stretch through all the major parts of your body in a quick way. Enjoy! So I'll actually start the first stretch in a seat. You could do this seated at your desk or you could even stand up for it, completely up to you. We'll start by taking the hands by the side, relaxing the shoulders. And just for an entry, let's take a long inhale, taking the hands up over the sides. And then for the exhale, we'll start to take the hands behind the lower back and interlace the fingers here. Yeah, I'll show you from the side, just interlacing the fingers straight behind the lower back. And start a moment to bend the elbows a little more and start to actively pull the shoulder blades down. And then we'll start with a gentle neck stretch. So we'll take the, this fist that you now have over to the right side, into your right waist. And I'm showing you from the front again. From your right waist, taking a moment to press the hand into the side lifting up to the chest and then from here the right ear will go a little closer to the right shoulder. Classic neck stretch, you just hold the hand in place to give you a bit more leverage. And now you can start to play around with the positioning of the head. So if you take the gaze down towards the right knee or even a bit more to the side over to your right hip, you'll get a bit more of stretch into the sides of the neck. And if you rotate it more back into the center, it will change and it will get slightly less intense. Good. You can repeat this a few more times. Maybe you like the dynamic movements, the dynamic stretching, kind of massaging the neck with the movement. And once you have found your sweet spot, the one where you really need the stretch, you stay here just for a couple of breaths. Keep the, the breath nice and deep. Remember, deep belly breathing at all times. Great. And let's release. Changing sides. Release the hands. Be careful here, especially if you have stiff and sore shoulders. Take a moment to just connect the fist to the lower back again. Lift up to the chest and then move the hand over to the other side. See if you can hook it to the sides of the waist. Start to gently press it in and then start to lean the left ear over to the left shoulder. Good. First with the clean side stretch, staying in one line. And then you can start to move the nose and the gaze towards the left knee and beyond to the side, moving the stretch into the diagonals of the neck and then maybe a few dynamics. So do these movements really, really slow. We're working with the neck here, so you might feel a bit of resistance. We don't want to startle the neck with any harsh, quick movements. So take your time to go through these movements and feel into it. See what it does to you. And if there's any particular point in this rotation that you like or that is slightly, you know, challenging, maybe stay a little longer, just breathing into it. Let's give it one more breath. And then release. Now that we already have the hands behind the back, release them from here and we'll move the stretch in through the shoulder blades and the chest. So you can start by connecting the fist to the middle of the lower back again, lift the chest and then in your own capacity, start to move the hands down and away from the back. So starting to stretch the arms first, that will already create a stretch in the tops of the shoulders and the neckline. And then while you keep the chin close to the chest, you keep moving the hands away from the back, however that might look for you. Again, don't go overboard. Once you feel that you have reached the limit 
of the movement before you start to cramp your face better take the tension the tension out a little bit and find a broad point where you can still breathe so if you're cramping your face you've gone too far good just breathe here it can be as easy as that just breathing into the belly while you hold the hands behind you one more breath and let's release the hands slowly release the grip relax the shoulders you can give them a short stretch towards the front taking the hands onto the knees relax the neck great for the third stretch you actually have to stand up and uh, you don't have you don't need yoga clothes for this uh, so you can do this in any kind of clothing that you are in at the moment we'll do something like a short trikonasana starting to go into the side body now starting with the hands in the hips and we'll just take the feet a little wider than hip distance since you want to keep it easy and turn the left foot out to the side like 90 degrees okay so the left hand now goes across your belly reaching over to the hip and the right hand will move behind us so the back of the hand is coming against the lower back Take a moment here, left foot to the side, reaching up through the spine again. And now you start to hold the left hand onto the waist while you lean over to the left side. Okay. Hold it for another breath and then you can Decide how deep you want to go here. You have the hand for support without crunching the right side too much. So you can use your right fingertips to just remind you to keep the, uh, the left side, sorry, lengthening. And then if you want to go a little further, you can now let go of the support of the left hand, connecting to the thigh. Give yourself a little push into the thigh so you can lift up through the right shoulder. And if you have even more capacity, you can release the right hand behind the lower back and take it up towards the ceiling or maybe lean it over the side, reaching it slightly over your ear. So this will create a quite deep stretch in your right side body. Find your sweet spot, the one where you have like say 70% intensity and just breathe into that. One more to go and we'll relax it down. Take the right hand away if you had it there first. Gaze down towards the foot and then use these muscles here to get your back into center. How did that feel? Let's take it to the other side. Toes turning in, right toes to the side now. So we're just switching the sides. Right turns to the side. Right hand goes over the belly, gripping your opposite waist. Left hand goes behind the back bending the elbow and connecting to the right waist. Before we go anywhere else, let's take a breath to breathe in through the chest, lifting through the spine. And then we'll start to lean into the right side while you hold your grip on the left, on the waist. And you just see where you feel this first idea of stretch in the left side. Could be anywhere on the way down. Just go with your own feeling. And once you've found it, just stay there. Keep on breathing. Make a decision if you want to go any further than that. If you feel like you don't need that support of the right hand, you can let go of it now. Take it onto the inside of the thigh and gently press against the thigh. So what it does is once you press against the thigh, you corkscrew the upper part of the spine up. So the left shoulder will move back slightly. The right shoulder will move forward and it will bring the whole torso into one line as if it was between two walls, which is creating a good stretch. Either stay here, keep on breathing, whatever you do, or release the left hand, reach it up over the head, creating more stretch in the left side and then see to what extent you would even 
Maybe you want to take the hand overhead and reach it across your ear. Two more deep breaths. And then we slowly take it back up. The left hand comes back first. Then we lift up to the sides, taking the hands back into the waist. Wonderful. So we've moved to the side bodies. Let's move it into the hips now. A common tension we have in our hip flexors here. So we'll do the simple bending the knee and just pointing the toes towards the glute. It's always also a nice balance exercise. If you're not so good with the balance today, you can have a hand on a chair, or on a wall, whatever works for you. And then we'll take the left hand, we start with the left foot, taking the left hand up above you, circling it behind you, and then just grab a hold of your tops of the foot. Okay, step one is just pressing the knee down while you pull the heel towards the glutes. And you can control yourself how much stretch you want to create in this left side. Because the more you pull the knee down, the more you will feel something happening in the front here. Good. If you feel like simply standing upright doesn't do it for you, you could give it a little more by gently pulling the knee backwards. We're not going into a back bend, we just pull the knee away from the center line and keep pressing the foot into the hand. Why lift up through the chest? So there's just these tiny little adjustments in the body that are creating the stretch. Great, one more breath. And then we slowly release. Other side, left foot down, shake it out. Find your balance on the left foot and bend the right knee. Hands to hips to start with. And then once you have the balance, right arm lifts all over your head, circling it back, catching your right foot. And then first of all, starting to pull the heel towards the glute. Good, pulling it there. Maybe that is already creating a mild stretch in the front. So that's perfect. If you want more, remember the more you pull the knee down and back, the more you will emphasize the stretch but it only works if you keep the upper body lifted. So if you round the back, you will feel that you will have left, less of a stretch. If you stretch the chest, it'll get more intense. That's what we want. Good. Let's give it two more breaths, deep down into the belly, pulling the knee away from the hip, making it long, especially if you've been sitting and then carefully let it go, releasing the foot and bring it back down. Great. The fifth stretch is the ultimate stretch of our backside and the easiest one of all. All we have to do is we have to walk the hands forward and just fold over the knees. So now when I say easy, you can obviously make it as easy as you need to. The more you bend the knees, the more you will take the initial stretch out of the hamstrings. Since these are the ones we want to address now, giving the lower back some decompression by leaning over. And then you can take the hands onto the shins and start bending one knee at a time. Let's start with the right one, slowly starting to stretch the right knee back a bit. You can allow the, move, the hip to move a little bit for that and then bend it again. Then slowly stretching out the left leg while the right knee stays bent and back again. A few times in your own, easing in to the hamstring stretch. Very long muscles at the backside of the body that usually for most of us are a bit shortened since we are sitting a lot or even if you are for example, running. And these are the muscles that get shortened very quickly. So let's take it, give it a moment to stretch for a bit. One or two, two more breaths. 
you want to stretch both knees at the same time if you have that flexibility for free to do so connecting the lower belly to the thighs relaxing the chin and the neck and then keep the knees bent again and start to roll yourself back up into standing Maybe close it up with a nice deep inhale, moving the hands over the head, stretching the full body long, and then releasing them back to the sides, closing your short stretch. All right, guys, that was it for today. Thanks so much for watching and for practicing. If you want to see more yoga videos, head over to my channel. I am releasing new yoga sessions every week and new insights about the nervous system and how to use your body and mind in the best effective ways. If you like my content, give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. And I wish you a wonderful day.